The medium bassinet diaper cake that we're making today consists of several size 1 diapers. I'm going to use 34 diapers for the body of the bassinet and 28 for the wheels. The wheels are optional and I'm having a really hard time figuring out how to hide the rubber bands holding the wheels on. If you come up with a great idea, please comment below and let me know. We're, we also need a tub of wipes, four receiving blankets, two that are identical. You'll also need some baby supplies just to dress up your bassinet. I'm going to use two bibs, a teether, and a pacifier. For additional decoration, you'll need things like ribbon or artificial flowers or bows or anything like that. You're also going to need some really large rubber bands, um, I don't know, six or so of them, and some not quite so large rubber bands, probably close to ten of those. You may also want to use safety pens, double-sided tape, or regular tape. In addition to our diaper cake bassinet today, I will be introducing my daughter, the craft queen of the house and future diaper cake maker extraordinaire. Say hi! Hello! Are we ready? Yes, we are. Let's get started. For our diaper bassinet cake, we're going to start with diapers. We're going to start out with a brick of 30 diapers, and we're going to put a rubber band around them. It's also a great music maker. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to take two of our diapers, we're just going to fold them together like that, and we're going to tuck them in one end of our brick to kind of give a slightly rounded shape. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a rubber band this direction to hold everything nice and tight. And then we're going to tie a ribbon over it as well. Would you like to do this? That'll just help hold everything together. On each side of this, we're going to put two rubber bands. And those will help hold the wheels on when we get to that part. Okay, so we have our brick, and I'm going to take one of the receiving blankets and just lay it over the diapers in a way that we can tuck it into each, into a rubber band on each side. Once you have your uh, receiving blanket all tucked in on the top, then you'll take one of your other receiving blankets, one of the two that are identical, and you're going to roll it or fold it onto itself. I'm going to fold this into thirds and then gauge the height. This height is actually pretty good, so I'm going to leave it. You may have to do yours into quarters if it is too tall, or figure out another way to fold if it's too short. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this receiving blanket that we just folded, and we're going to put it on the diaper cake around the rounded side and along the two long sides. And then we will cover that with a rubber band, a very large rubber band. Very, very large. The next step is going to be to take our diaper wipes, another receiving blanket, and cover your box of wipes. Okay, you can either do it this direction or across the top and around the bottom. Whichever way um, 
I actually like it not to show in the finished product. So I'm going to go across the top and along the bottom. There we go. And what you'll do is you will take this white container and lay it over the head of the bassinet. I just remembered, I forgot a step earlier. We need to take a piece of ribbon and we actually needed to turn this bassinet over and to thread it under all of our rubber bands. slide it under the receiving blanket. Hopefully you haven't started your project yet and you will put it on before you put on your outside receiving blanket. So you will have two ends of a ribbon. To give this a more rounded appearance I'm going to take two diapers and we're going to tuck them under the rubber band covering the top of the wipes box. Okay, so what we want to do is take this ribbon, we just thread through the rubber bands and inside this uh, receiving blanket, we want to take it across the top and tie it over this white box just to help hold it in place. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome, Mommy. The next step is going to be to make your cover over the head of the bassinet. We'll take a receiving blanket that matches the receiving blanket you used on the side. And we're going to figure out a way to fold it over so that we don't have any in, any excess on the bottom. You want it in the back, you want it pretty well square. And then we'll figure out the sides. Look at this side. I like to go, let me show this. I like to go straight down. And then take this extra back here, fold it forward, tuck it, and then tuck up the bottom. The next step is to put on the wheels, which is an option you can choose to do or to leave alone. The wheels are not necessary and do add a lot of diapers, but they are a lot of fun and uh, they really complete the look. For the wheels, we're going to use seven diapers each, four wheels, that's 28 diapers. The, the wheel will end up looking like this when it's complete. So, seven diapers. You're going to take Seven the diapers. first one. You'll open it up and roll it the traditional way. Starting with the front of the diaper and rolling it towards the back. Tight. And then you'll take your second diaper. Place the first diaper inside of it and roll it up. And your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven diapers in all. The seventh diaper may be very difficult to get around.
And then when you have all seven rolled, you'll put a rubber band on them. You'll also take some ribbon. Just enough to cover your rubber bands. And you'll cover those rubber bands, keeping the seams of the ribbon towards the seam of your last diaper. And you can hold this in place with double-sided tape, regular tape, a safety pin, just whatever you have available to use. And we'll hide these seams when we put it together on the bassinet by putting the seams right under the bassinet. Just turn the bassinet on its side so we can see the bottom. And we will take the diapers, diaper wheels, and take at least two rubber bands. Put the seam side against the bottom. Now these wheels will stick out slightly past the side of the bassinet. And now comes the fun part. The last part is decorating and there's a lot of fun things you can do with this. We definitely want to cover all our rubber bands with ribbon that's going to be whether we have wheels or not. Except for these rubber bands that are on the wheels, I can't really find a good way to cover those. But we're going to, you can either use a coordinating color like this, or a color like this. Whatever you have that you like, that you think goes along with your theme, I'm going to go ahead and use pink. You can cover this spot with a big bow of the same ribbon or an artificial flower or uh, something along those lines. To decorate the wheels, we're going to take these fake flowers and we're going to tuck them into the center of each wheel. This is more or less your bassinet. You can uh, decorate it with some flowers. Wherever you like, you can also put on some toys. Or you can do like I like to do and dress it up with some more um, baby items. I have two bibs. You can use onesies or whatever else you have. And this other bib is really cute because it's reversible. Hopefully she can get this. And what you can also do now is you can put your flowers on or your baby toys Where? wherever we want. So I can decorate it by myself. You can decorate it by yourself. We'll see what she comes up with in just a minute. Now we have our completed bassinet, bassinet baby um, diaper cake. 